the FinTech Hackathon in New York City focused on financial inclusion. Bank executives from Latin America challenged students to create solutions to the most pressing needs of necessity entrepreneurs in their countries. I really appreciate that there's an urgency to the problem we're solving. We know that every day that goes by is another day that someone's not getting the financial services they need to run their business, to support their community, to support their family. So whereas some other projects have been maybe around nice to haves or good market opportunities, this one is really about impacting people's lives. You're helping to solve real problems, and so the stakes are higher, and what you're doing actually matters. It's been really interesting to try to put ourselves in the shoes of these people. We have like a female who's from Venezuela and another uh, female who actually grew up in Nicaragua. So we just gained so much perspective. We've had the opportunity to really engage with a lot of our partners and sponsors that have flown from over the world from Peru and Paraguay. And it definitely motivates us to want to do more because we want to make sure is it really meeting the need. I was actually personally quite surprised that people uh, from Latin America actually flew up here uh, to actually uh, work with us. We have the biggest bank in Peru and then a really small credit union from the middle of, of Paraguay. And both of them are getting great value out of talking with the students. Just the passion and being able to help somebody and knowing that the idea that we have, we really feel pretty confident that this could really help banks gain trust from consumers that lack a lot of trust. I thought it really neat to see the people from Serrana, they're a cooperative from Paraguay. They had, with all the teams that are working on their problems, they, they've got their phones out taking selfies with them. They don't speak any English. And, uh, and so I think those moments of empathy are where a student kind of feels the gravity of what they're doing. And that hopefully will improve their design thinking. The best thing about my team is that we're so first of all, so passionate about what we're doing right now and that so many perspectives are in it. And the ability to work directly with these executives and get their insights and some of the students were actually calling entrepreneurs in Peru and doing this additional research, they went through the motions to understand the needs and build a product, build a solution that will actually address it. I think sometimes it's nice to have a faster pace though because you can't stop to like question yourself, you just have to keep pushing forward and it really like motivates you to get over the obstacles that you're facing as a team. Una de las de mis mejores y eh, una de las cosas que mejor me llevo de esta experiencia es justamente eso, la facilidad y la rapidez con la que se puede trabajar en la solución de un problema cuando eh, las personas están adecuadamente incentivadas, cuando tienen la información eh, que requieren y este, cuando se les puede orientar en las necesidades que uno tiene para la resolución de un problema específico. The nurtured atmosphere of the hackathon is to make sure that everyone's collaborative and like, as a freshman, every idea I inputted, they still listen to and I contribute way more than I could imagine. So I feel like since then, I've just like definitely been continuing hackathons and building relations and networks with upperclassmen and how to work with them.